Okay, some crazy things happen. Can you come out and chat with us for a minute? Yeah. I'm sorry, you are how old? I'm born 81. 81? And you were born in this house? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, so guess what? what? He's bathed in that bathtub that's in there. <laughs> we have the crawfoot tub that was still in here. Really? Oh, this I is going to be fun. Right. You used to roll, okay. Roll around, playing. You used to roll around? Well, playing. tell me, what, what, uh, you don't want to be on camera, D. Oh, no, I don't mind. Okay, well, what, what's your name? Ted Campbell. Ted Campbell. I'm Mark Holmes. Nice and this is you. my wife, Tracy. Hey, how you doing? And uh, we are the proud owners of this place and have oh, been working our, our rear end off on it. Good. So, here's what's interesting. When I started digging the ditch, I mean, the, the foundation holes, yeah. I found a whole bunch of bricks, and I don't know if there was a building back here or something. There wasn't no building there. Okay. And right down over the hill right there, it used to be a blacksmith shop. Right. It used to be a blacksmith shop that don't go, and uh, Right down the hill, yeah. okay. Hey, can I sit down somewhere? I can be able to Oh, yeah. There. Oh, okay, sure. I can be able to stand up there at all. Yeah, I, well, I would love would, for you to... Go inside? Would, would you like yeah. to take a look on the inside? Yeah. Oh, I come by here one day a couple of years ago. Okay. And a guy was working inside, and I seen the door open, I said, I was born right here in this room, right here to the left. Right here, I okay. Born, I was born right in there. I was born right here. In this room? In this room, right here. Does it look different? Oh, no. <laughs> we're, we're trying to save it as much as the original as we can. Yeah. You know, we've gone down through, we found these slat walls behind layer upon layer of wallpaper and stuff. Here, come on through, because I know you want to see the bathtub and all that. But do you know uh, the history of this place? I know a lot of it. I keep, you know, it's funny because I keep learning more and more yeah. about the history of it. Yeah. Uh, originally, schoolhouse. It was a schoolhouse first. It was mm -hmm. a hospital. Right. And uh, Civil War guys set up camp in here one time. Did not know that one. They That's set up one camp. Of... Civil War guy did. You know, they probably rode in on horses. Right. Set up camp in there, so it started a log cabin. Okay. When it first started, it was a log cabin, and then uh, then down the road, they built a brick on there now mm -hmm. on the site. They built it right here. Okay. Made right. all the bricks. Yeah, that's what I heard. heard now, that. second story wasn't on there then because the log cabin don't have second story. No. Once they put the brick on here, they made a second story out of it. Oh, okay. But see, a log cabin it is just in 1820. 1820, right. 1820. That's when they made it into the bricks, right? I'm going to have to sit down. Sir. Yeah, well, I got a chair right here if you'd like to sit oh, down. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Well. And, uh, over in this hall right here, mm -hmm. there used to be a hall right there. Yeah. And double doors, it was double doors going to the other room. Okay. All right, me and my sister was in the bed when I, I was about two years old. Because we moved here when I was about three. Yeah. Up on Speck Road. Okay. In the little house. And they called this the Arnold House. Right. Arnold was an old man. And we moved in here. And my mother kept house for him for the rent. Wow. Okay. He was by himself. Arnold was by himself. Right. And, uh, all right, one time... Christmas time, me and my sister, I was about two years old, and me and my sister was upstairs. Mm -hmm. I said, let's go downstairs and look at a Christmas tree in the hallway right here. It was a hallway. Okay. That big piano room was sitting over there. Yeah. And uh, she said, all right, so we walked down the steps and sat down about halfway mm -hmm. and looked through the bars at the Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. Blue, red, pretty light. Oh, wow. First time you've seen something that looked off good. And my mother came through the doors, the you know, big sliding doors. Yeah. She said, you don't get back in that bed. <laughs> <laughs> we run back upstairs and got into bed. I don't remember nothing else because we went to sleep. Wow. But uh, about two or three years ago, I come in here. Two black uh, men was in here working. I told them the story. He said, come on in, but don't get yeah. hurt. I said, don't worry, I don't get hurt. So I went upstairs, mm -hmm. I was about 70 some years old then. I went upstairs and come back down the steps and sat down 
and big be them bars. That, I did the same thing when I was two years old. <laughs> Seventy years old, I looked uh, through the bars. There was no sister. Yeah. Because she died. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. She died, and uh, but me and her played over here in the yard, in the graveyard. Yard. We played the old graveyard. But she picked me up one day and set me down in the, uh, you know, bars around it, mm -hmm. around the tombstone. Yeah. And I was just screaming, crying. <laughs> what did I know about dead people? How did I know to cry? Oh, my I goodness. was screaming. Well, so you, she you, bent over and picked me up and sent me back down on the ground. Uh-huh. I go ahead. Wow. You know, you actually, you just actually gave us a key piece because now it does make sense. Because um, up underneath you, this is, we believe are the original floors. This is the antique hard pine yeah. floors. But there's logs flattened out. Logs? There's logs on the floor joists. There's a log house. So it's a log cabin. That I'm makes sense. Cabin. So originally then, so that probably predates the 1820 then? 1820, what's the date? 1820 was, was that when they built the log cabin or was that when yeah. they built the... When they built the log cabin, I think. Okay, so then sometime later on it became then brick. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. But they built, uh, built the brick on the site and bricked the house. Mm -hmm. It was one story then. Right. So after they bricked the house, they probably put the second story on it. Wow. Upstairs. Okay, that makes sense. Upstairs, come because on. Because we've got dimensional lumber up in here for the framing. We've got the logs that were down here that are still under the house. Because we ended up having to support those because they were rotted out here where they put the uh, concrete porch. Mm -hmm. This side, they were still good. I don't think that was in there. That room there wasn't even there. Probably not when they were. 42, yeah. Yeah. 42. And if you, if we go through because we've taken like uh, the, the plaster off of some of the bricks. Yeah. And you can see where the where it's been changed so many times. Yeah. That um, some of these were windows and yeah. then this was added on later. You can tell yeah. by the way they fixed the bricks after the fact yeah. that that was yeah. done later on. Oh, yeah. So what we figured as we've gone through it, um, it looks like steps were right here at one time. So these weren't original steps. This was a doorway here because you can see the slats yeah. and stuff in there. Oh, I don't remember that. Right. So that may have been, of course, before you were here. But oh, at yeah. some point, the steps went up over here. Oh, really? And this oh. was an entranceway. Okay. So um, the steps were right here when you came in? Yeah. 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 Here. And here's what I can also tell you that I discovered this morning when I was looking at the brick over here. That was actually a doorway. Or a window right there. So these steps couldn't have been there. That was actually a window looking out the oh, back. Oh, okay. So more than likely this yeah, that was way early down the road. Right. This so we're figuring out the lineage of yeah. the whole house. So now we're finding out it was a log cabin then turned into the brick. Eighteen twenty. Wow. It was built. And so that was a window, that was a window, and then the other door to the kitchen was also a window. Uh -huh. And what we think is this room was was added on later. Yeah. And then the kitchen was actually the porch because that floor dropped down. Okay. And then they turned that into a kitchen, then built another porch out the back. Yeah, okay. And of course we had to tear it down because it was completely rotted out. Yeah. So do you think there was time between it being one story brick and two story brick? No, they probably ended up taking probably taking the whole building and just built the two stories at the same time. When it went brick. Right, so it would have been a log cabin first. 1820, it was a log cabin. Yeah. And down the road, I don't know how far down the road, they built a brick on the site mm -hmm. right here. Yeah. And then bricked it. So they must put the second story on right. it then because it wasn't down on first. Yeah, so when they framed up, because these are all done as pockets, they wouldn't have taken that off and then put it so on the story. Like, so when they started doing the brickwork, uh -huh. they would have went ahead and said, we're just going to make this two story now. Yeah. Yeah, it's two story, yeah. Wow. Okay, so we learn we, we keep learning more and more about this house every single day. Seventy nine years when well, I moved way away from here. Seventy nine years. Seventy nine years ago. Wow. Well, we're still in our best to make sure it's here for another two hundred years. Oh Lord, I hope so. And the city used to own this place. Yeah, I got it from the city because they were gonna tear it down. Well, I know they was. But see the city I understand this. The city gave it to them people down on Main Street, mm -hmm. that, uh, what do you call it, a museum place? Yeah. They give it to them. Mm -hmm. And these two black guys 
<laughs> young black guy. Was it you? That's me. That bought it. I, I, well, it was gifted to me. Oh, give it to you. Yeah, okay. it, was, <laughs> it, it needed a lot of work, but yeah, that, that was me. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's me and my son. You Your son was the one I was talking to. Okay, right. That's why I, I didn't I never did see you before, so okay. I didn't know. Well, it's me. Okay, but yeah. Right, right. Yeah, it's uh it was the Red Brick House Committee. They were trying to save the house. And they wanted to save the house, but they didn't know anything about actually saving the house. And so it ended up being I had a guy who said, You're the guy I'm looking for because he knew I'd worked on old houses before. Yeah. And I came in and got involved in it. And I thought I was just trying to help save the house. I didn't know I was going to be getting it and saving the house. So, well, I'll be there. you know, they say, be careful what you wish for, because you yeah. might just get it. <laughs> Great. But we started working on it originally just to, just to shore it up. But we had to get the zoning changed because the city, when they bought it, they were looking at Ohio Street was going to be the main drag. Yeah. And this was probably going to get torn down. Yeah. And they didn't want to put the money into having to fix this thing. It takes a lot of money to tear a place down the hall one way. It takes a lot of money. It takes a whole lot of money to fix it, too. Oh, yeah. (laughs) But look what you're going to have when you fix it. Um, History, oh, man. Oh, I I love this place. Oh, I do, too. Um, I called the city one day and talked to them. Yeah. I said, I heard y'all were trying to tear the place down. They said, well, no, we don't know for sure if we can tear it down or not. Mm -hmm. But But you and your son bought it. Or got it mm-hmm. from the place down on Main Street. Yeah. Because the city gave it to them. Mm-hmm. Then y'all got it from them. Right. And then, uh, but uh, I told him, I said, if y'all do tear my house down, I'm going to come here to the lawn chair and sit there and watch it. I was well, going to watch it. Here's what you can do. I'm though. so glad they didn't do it. Well, I tell you what. I'll have a lawn chair for you to be able to come here and sit out on the porch oh, or on right. the deck out here. Oh, right. And we'll get you some lemonade or some iced tea yeah. to just kind of enjoy yeah. and yeah. reminisce about playing in the backyard. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I like this place. But, uh, but right down here on the corner, there used to be a big old place there. It was Wilson Trucking Company. Mm-hmm. Right down here on the corner. Yeah. It's going on Broad Street, it's going on the side. Because my wife worked there. Okay. She worked there in the office. I used to pick up every evening. I've got a big, nice, shiny blue Cadillac. Oh. 1954. Okay. 1954, and that car was just big, wide, white wall, just like brand new. Uh huh. I got pictures of it on there right now. Well, I'll tell you what, if you uh, wouldn't mind, I would love to have some copies of it. Because. Um, All right. The great of the Cadillac. Of the copies of the Cadillac and any pictures of you as a kid, too. So that way we can put it in. Because yeah. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm taking the lineage of this place. Yeah. Um, the great granddaughter of uh, Mary Arnold. Yeah. Who, she, you know, being named after the Arnold. She's yeah. come by and she actually showed us a copy of the will. How old is she? Uh, I don't know. She lived here, too? She didn't live here. Probably in her 60s. Her grandmother, or her great grandmother, was Mary Arnold. Yeah. Who it was named after. Okay. Her dad was the blacksmith. Yeah. And he ended up giving it to her upon his death. I'll be there. So he brought, she brought me a copy of the will. I met Miss Beverly. Um, I can't remember her first name. Her family owned most of Augusta County and things, and they ended up leading the land over to the guy who built this place. Mm. And so she's supposed to be getting me a copy of that. Mm. So I'm trying to get all the history. I knew it was a blacksmith who lived here, and I knew about it being a Civil War hospital. I had a gentleman who came through and asked me if I knew where the limb pit was. And I said, the limb pit? <laughs> he said, yeah, where they buried all the limbs. So every time I have to dig in the yard, I'm real careful of digging. Really? Um, in there, but yeah. But this front yard right here went way out, mm-hmm. way out in the big peak, and they used to have a big pear tree right there in that center. Yep. And they had a well up there. Mm-hmm. So see, when they, uh, when they took these roads right here and widened them, yeah, they, they took cut all that, that yard off. They cut the yard yeah. off. But uh, I remember this place real well. All right. I got pictures of it. I got all kinds of pictures. You got pictures of it? Yeah. I got so all you, kind got, of you know, if, if, if it's easier for me to get them copied or whatever, oh. I would love to have pictures of this from I'll before. Get them, I'll get them copied for you. Yeah. 
and bring them back and give them to you. Oh, I would love to. Oh, I would I, love I, I'd do it. But I was yeah. standing on the front porch, mm -hmm. and my daughter took a picture of me standing on the front porch. Uh, <laughs> recently, or you mean um, back in uh, well, years ago? It's been uh, uh, 10 years ago. I okay. It's been about 10 years. Well, my daughter's what? 56 years old. That's my age. Oh. I'm 57. So when I get the front porch painted again, yeah. I want to take, get a picture of you taken in the same spot. Oh, so that right. way we can say 10 yeah. years ago when yeah. it was boarded up and how it's looking now. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. But I tell you what I went on and started doing What's when that? I was 14 years old. Mm -hmm. I I heard some guys down the street playing music in, in the yard. Mm -hmm. I said, that's exactly what I want to do. 40 yeah, years ago, I did it. You're I, did, I did it, yeah. I'm a singer, dude. Oh, my God. I did it for 40 years. How you still hold up Johnny Cash? Jerry wow. Lee Wood. No. Well, I come out on the stage one time to the microphone and I said, Hello, my name is Johnny Cash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my good. Yeah, you definitely have to come by and have some lemonade or uh, maybe something a little harder. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, no. I don't drink. You no. don't drink? Okay. I'm, I'm definitely we got that lemonade. I'm a Christian guy. Okay. And I don't drink, and I ain't drank for 30 years. Well, that's good. But I did it when I was playing music. Mm -hmm. I had my own band when I was 17. Man. We played at Basic City. Uh-huh. All them beer jumps. That's up. where all the partying was in Basic yeah, City, Basic right? City, yeah. yeah. Uh, wagon wheel and all kind of places. Up there. And we played there every day. I mean, every night, Saturdays, Sundays, uh -huh. from 3 to 6. Because 6 o'clock, the beer was all cut off. Wow. At 6 o'clock in the evening. Mm -hmm. And we played music there. We did a lot of Johnny Carey. Mm -hmm. And i tell you who I really didn't like. Who's that? Back when I was in music, Little Richard. Little Richard? Wasn't he bad news? Okay. He could play that piano just. Uh huh. Just, his girlfriend, her name was Lucille. Mm hmm. I remember he, the song, Lucille. She left. Oh, yeah. And that's when he made that song, mm -hmm. Lucille. Come back where you belong. I did. I, I learned something else, too, because I remember that, because he was definitely speaking. Lucille! Oh, oh yeah. Come back with you yeah, that's him. Uh huh. He, he's a piano player and I have. Oh wow. Jerry Lee Lewis was too. Uh huh. He just died. Yeah, um, just a few years ago. All right. His two first cousins was Jimmy Swagger, mm -hmm. the preacher. Yeah. On TV. Mm -hmm. And uh, his other first cousin was uh, he had this place in Texas mm -hmm. where they could win in magic uh, a mechanical bull. Yeah. His name was, I can't think of it right now for some reason. Uh, let's see, it was Jimmy Swagger, Jerry Lee Lewis. I seen Jerry Lee Lewis one time in person. Mm -hmm. He was a crazy man. Wow. He was crazy. Took the piano, had the show, pushed it off the stage, tore it all the pieces. <laughs> man, okay. He's crazy. He was crazy when he was young. Wow. And they made that movie of him, Great Dogs of Fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man. But that guy, they made it. But the guy they had to uh, imitate Jerry Lee Lewis kind of act like him too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you know, curly wig, yeah. blonde hair, and he just playing that piano. Like Put his feet up on it, hit the key mm -hmm. with his feet. <laughs> I seen. Uh, how about Tom T. Hall? Do you remember him? No, don't he, remember. He played the songs about little ducks and kids and stuff. He used to hold down. Okay. Watermelon and wine. Mm -hmm. But uh, Ray Price, I did a lot of his stuff. I remember Ray Price. All right, I did a lot of his. Mm -hmm. And the last show I was in was down on 340 at East Side Speedway. Yeah. I come in second after 200 people was in it. I come in second. Mm. I told Johnny Major, the guy started that show. He's been dead now. He died, I don't know, four or five years ago. But he run that show. He started it. A country music show. Mm -hmm. Let's see, it was a. I can't remember half the stuff I used to know. <laughs> but uh, Johnny Major was his name. Yeah. He sold real estate in his town for 50 years. Oh. Everybody knew Johnny Major. Mm -hmm. So I told him, I said, I don't think I'm going to get it. I was in it five years, five years in a row before I got into the last time. I told him, I said, I ain't going to get in it this year. He said, why not? 
I said, because I'm getting ready to quit. Mm -hmm. I was about 42 then. Yeah. I've been playing all my life. So at 17, home. right? Yes, when you got your band, 17, all my life. yeah. He said, I tell you what, that's more that you really should get in now, Ben, just going to be your last deal. I got to think about it. I said, I think I will get in. Mm -hmm. I never won nothing then. Mm -hmm. So after five years, I got in for the last time, and I come in second. Nice. I did a Ray Price song, mm -hmm. and the band was real good. They played a lot of Ray Price. Mm -hmm. So I knew I had the band music, yeah. had the right kind of music. I knew the song perfect. But I used to do a whole lot of a guy named Inkelbert Humberdick. You, know? uh, yeah. you remember him? Mm -hmm. Boy, he was a singer in a half. Yep. He was good. Yep, I definitely I'll tell you something else, I used to do a lot of songs by him. He did. Ray Charles. Mm -hmm. In 1968, I was playing music in Richmond in a club. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the same time, I can't stop believing you was in, I mean, stop right there. Yeah. I, I was doing that every night. People said, do it again, do it again, do it again. I said, I can't do it no more. Oh, One time's okay. enough, yeah. but I did do it another time. There you go. Because it kept telling me when I'm going to do it again. Yeah. Boy, we, we definitely having some fun here. Uh -huh. um, but, yeah, definitely, I, I, you could probably go on with stories all day oh, long, can't Lord. you? Oh, Lord. Yeah. Well, you want to see any more of this before we get going? I don't think so because okay. I got to get over here at the oh, okay. five minutes after one. I was supposed to be at a place at one o'clock. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> but it really don't matter because I can get there whenever I want to. Okay. But uh, I did a lot of Elvis. Did you? I did a lot of Elvis because I liked his music. He was the king, the very first one. He was the best one. Wait, what's your full name now? Ted Campbell. Ted Campbell. Yep. Okay. I'm, we got to look up Ted Campbell. Born here in what year? 1942. 1942. Right here in this room, right here. Right here. I was born right here in this room, right here. Oh, man, look at it. Right here in this room. I was born right here. Mm. Ain't that something? Ain't that something that's right. Yeah. That's very cool. I was born in a house. <laughs> well, I'm glad that we were able to save this house. It, oh, you know, man, I, I, I am too. It, it's, it's, it's it, you know, it's, it's really grown on me to the point where... You know, we start work at about 8.30, 9 o'clock. And at the end of the day, I don't want to stop. And we're here sometimes really? 9, 10 o'clock at night. Oh, no. You know, and now yeah. that we got the lights and stuff on and you look at the oh, front of it, it's got, it's got so much beauty to it. I've it's gone got through that front door many times when I was two years old. Well, really? that's not, I had to build the new one there. Cause oh, the you old got one, a new door there. Well, it's, I built it out of the wood that's actually out of the basement oh, for really? the front door. Yeah, there was. A, I, I there wasn't no basement then. Well, it's a it was a cro it's a cellar. Yeah, it's like a cellar. It's real low. I think somebody did picture framing. I think and they stuff dig it. Yeah, they, it d does look like it because they dug it out. Yeah. There was a bunch of wood that was down underneath there, so I made the front door out of it, and all of the wood. I'll show you before you leave here. I'll, I'll, I'll grab it. Um. Do me a favor. Is that small one in the truck? I think I have one of the small pieces here. This is like some of the wood because we've been saving up the wood because I'm going to make the kitchen oh. cabinets out of some oh, of the wood that man. we reclaim. You don't smart way. Well, I'm trying to keep everything original. If you look upstairs, you can yeah. see where I opened it up yeah. and got the original beams in there and then I put the tug and groups up. And I'm hoping, I hope I have this. I'll, I'll walk you out to the car and hopefully I have this piece. It's probably buried up underneath of it. Huh? I've been painting for 40 years too. Okay, now don't don't make fun of my painting oh, now. Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> it, it's you been. probably burn it off, did you? I burned it, sanded yeah. it, ground it, yeah. and everything else. I'm, yeah. I'm working on getting That's all this. That's the only way to do it. Yeah. But it came out looking pretty good. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. I got something for you. What's that? Okay. This is actually a piece. This is a piece of wood. Oh, man. A piece Look of wood that. from the house. This is actually a piece coming from up, up underneath the front porch. Oh, I'll be and I've got a machine that actually cut that. Great. Day. That is yours. Thank you very much. 1820, that's right. Ain't that something? Man, that is something. I'm going to put that thing on the wall when I get home. There you go. My gift to you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the story. Oh, yeah. But I'm. Do you have a phone? Uh, yeah. I have my father. Mm hmm. I have my youngest brother. 
Everybody's dead but me. And that was my first wife right there holding a the baby. Mm -hmm. She's dead and he is too. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Oh, that was me playing in the band. With that red shirt on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was me. Oh, your hair was white then. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've been playing for 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't do it now because... Oh, there's B.J. Thomas right there. That's him. Okay. All he was right. a big star. Everybody in the world. I know that's mm -hmm. for sure. Oh, yeah. Raindrops keep falling. Oh, no. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, here's me right here. Holding the first baby. Mm -hmm. How many she, kids did you have? I had two. Mm -hmm. A girl. The girl's the last one living now. She, the one that took a picture of you on the front porch? Yeah. And she might be in this. I can show it to you. That's my oldest brother right there. He's dead, too. And he died a year ago, so... Here's me when I was a painter. Mm -hmm. We just painted this big old house in Charlottesville. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, here's my now here's my sister right here. That we're sitting on the stairway. Mm -hmm. And we're playing this in, in this graveyard over here. Mm -hmm. But she's dead too. And my other sister, she's dead. And my wife, first wife, she was dead. He's dead. Mm -hmm. Everybody did. Oh, that's my sister. See, here's my sister right here. She's the one. That okay. Her, her oldest daughter was married to B.J. Thomas. Mm -hmm. Here's me with paint clothes on, painting a part <laughs> or something. I've been painting for 40 years. 40 years. That's a long time. Oh, here's my son, the one that died. That's me and him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was a painter, too. Had his own business. Here's my daughter right here. And there's my son right here. Mm -hmm. And here's the two boys right here in the west side. I used to have an Oldsmobile 80, 83, just like Brandon.